are we doing? We're not in the greenhouse. We're in my kitchen. I figured I'm uh, starting all my cucumbers. It's uh, May 5th, 2024. Um, I probably should have done these a couple of weeks ago so I would have larger cucumbers to plant out. But the problem is, is where I garden, we have a ridiculously horrible problem with cucumber beetles. They're little, they're about half an inch long and they've got yellow stripes on them. And those things will kill your cucumber plants. They get into the flowers and they transfer diseases into your cucumbers and then they spread everywhere. For you guys that have watched my channel last year, you probably remember that I tore down all of my, I think I had 32 cucumber plants. Those cucumber beetles killed every single one of my cucumber plants and I harvest a total of, what, 10 cucumbers the whole season out of like 32 cucumber plants. It was brutal. So, I'm changing up my plan this year. Normally I get my cucumbers in the ground as soon as I plant my garden, right? Basically I have May 2-4 weekend to plant my garden. Generally I get my cucumbers in the ground right as, a, as that's one of the main crops that goes in that planting weekend, right? Because I'm thinking I want them to grow as fast as I can so I can start harvesting cucumbers as soon as I can. But with these cucumber beetles, they've got a shorter season on them. And the farther into summer you go, the less cucumber beetles you end up with. So uh, I'm starting my cucumbers a little bit late and I'm hoping that, so I'm not gonna plant them opening weekend, right? And I'm hoping that what's gonna happen, like it's so bad, no joke, at the gardens where I, because I'm in a community garden, right? I've got 1,600 square feet of garden. It's so bad there with cucumber beetles that out of the 100 or so garden plots that are in there, I'm one of the only one that actually still grows cucumbers. Everyone else has given up. And after last year, I thought, do I do it again? Do I not? Well, I need dill pickles. I need cucumbers. It's a staple of summer eating right so i'm gonna try it again i may um i may put some some cloth over top of the cucumber plants as they grow so basically if your plants are big enough they may be able to survive the attack from all the cucumber beetles if not you might be out of luck but i'm gonna do it anyways one i'm hard-headed and two i'm stubborn and i like cucumbers so we are doing four types of cucumbers this year we're doing the Ashley cucumbers, okay? And these are, they're vining, but it's more of a bush type variety. We're gonna do the straight eights to have nice big long slicing cucumbers for salads and whatever. We're doing national pickling cucumbers. I grow these every year. These are delicious. If you guys are looking for a, a tried and true pickling cucumber, Go with the National Pickling Cukes, and they grow a ton of cukes. Like, you're, by the end of the season, you're just going to be like, no, no, no more. I'm done. I, I've got too many. So if you want to make pickles, there we go. And then we're doing the Wisconsin SMRs. These are what I was growing in my greenhouse that got sick and died. But um, I'm going to show you something here. So... This plate of seeds are from the cucumbers, or from the cucumber. I filmed a video today, I'll drop it tomorrow, and then I'll drop this video I'm filming now, the day after, and then I'll link this video to this video, and you'll see, okay? So I'm not, I'm not going to plant any out of this package. I'm going to plant these, which came from that package, from a cucumber, from a greenhouse. Follow? Okay. So, oh, and I'm also planting uh, yellow squash, or yellow zucchini. I like these better than the green ones. They hold up better on the barbecue. So, if you want your squashes, squashes, cucumbers, uh, pumpkins, um, melons, uh, that, sort of, that sort of style of plant, to germinate way faster, I'm gonna show you how to do it right here. So 
On my kitchen table, I've got a, a bunch of little containers like this. They're full of water. I've got four of those little ones, and I've got lids with the type of cucumber that's going to go in them. And these are going to sit for a day in the water. But So taking a couple seeds out of here, and I'll show you the fastest, by far, the fastest way to germinate your cucumbers or your melons or your squashes or whatever, this type of seed, okay? You're going to need your seeds, you're going to need some water, and you're going to need your nail clippers. This process is called nicking. See? So on a, cuc on a seed like this, see if I can pinch it so you can see it better. Okay. So you've always got a pointed end and pointed end and a rounded end. So that's where it attached inside the plant. And that's just the back end, right? Anybody who's, you know, harvested pumpkins for Halloween and, and gutted them, you know what I'm talking about, how they're all stuck inside. Right. So now what we're going to do is you're going to take your cucumber or your, your, sorry, your nail clippers and you're going to come in. You know what? We'll turn this around so you guys can see. Hang on. Okay. So here we go. We've got the rounded end and the pointed end. So all you do, take your nail clippers and I've shown you guys this, this before, but I've got a whole bunch of new subscribers. So basically you see what we did there. We just took off just the bottom tip. You don't want to cut into the seed itself. You just want to cut into the seed coating and you just basically, all you want to do is open it up so that when it sits in your water, it absorbs that water and I'll have these seeds germinated and breaking out of the soil within about three days. I'll show you on another, on a cucumber seed, they're even smaller. So there's your cucumber seed. Okay. So these are a little trickier to find out what end you need to cut off. All right. So usually there's a little bit of a flat spot on these smaller seeds that shows you the front end, which is over on this side. So then the same thing, you just take your nail clippers, come up to it, and all you're doing is literally just trying to You're just trying to open up the back end of that seed. Okay, that's all we're trying to do. So these are straight eights. So we just put that in a straight eight. So that's all I'm doing, guys. I'm going to do about, I don't know, 10 of each seed. And then they'll sit in these cups of water. And then tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening, I'm going to let them sit in here for 24 hours. Tomorrow evening, I'll literally just take them right out of the water and put them right into soil. And we're jump starting this season's squash and cucumber systems. So that's it. I hope this helps. I'll show you guys tomorrow when I start planting these. I'll end up just turning the camera on. Okay, so grow good food. Keep this in mind about how to do this. It takes a couple of minutes, but you're literally shaving days off of germination rates. Like look here six to ten days and we'll have these up in three what's this one six to ten days look at that eight eight to ten days six to ten days how long for these fellas five to twelve days so if you want a way that you can shave days even maybe up to a week okay just nick your seeds Throw them in water, give them 24 hours, put them in your soil. Okay? Hope this helps. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up, just like that. Have an awesome day. Grow good food. See ya. Bye.